super excited about this one. I'm meeting Lee Montgomery on our team. So excited to see you guys. We have never done a video together and we've been working together forever. So it's super odd. Holy moly. I'm actually a little late because I'll just show you why. This thing right here, this is a microphone. I forgot it in my office. So I had to turn around and grab that. But you are not here for my technical difficulties. No worries, no worries. You're here to see a house. Man, wait till you see this house. So let's show you this really cool house. What is happening, my friend? Hey, everyone. Hey, Chris. So excited to see you guys. We are at one of the coolest homes I've seen in a long time. We have the rock textured wall, custom wood double door. And inside this garage, you'll see a little later, there's a little something special I'm going to show you. But before we go in, the street you just came in on, Chris, did you notice? I did. It's a dead-end cul-de-sac, which is so cool because it's very private and you don't get a lot of traffic. Love me some cul-de-sac. You'll see a little later, there's a little something special I'm going to show you. This isn't a cookie-cutter neighborhood, which is awesome. It's not your standard Mediterranean Florida style. So, but let's check this out. Welcome to the crib. Uh, look at you. Look. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Setting the stage. This is your foyer. As you come in, if you notice, it's already tall ceiling. You have nice decorative woodwork and you have this large entryway going into the living space. A corner of my eye on the right is a bedroom, it looks like. What is it? What's over here? Show this me. is a third bedroom. Can be used as a bedroom, an office, a gym. And what's cool with this one is it overlooks the pool area. If you come on in and you'll see there's two dual closets on the back wall. You have the wide French door opening. You know, this one's about seven, eight foot ceiling. These are high ceilings for sure. So, but this is a big room. So is this is the third bedroom technically? Yes, this is the third bedroom. Okay, cool. So we have a bedroom right off the front. It's huge. You can use it for a variety of things. So as you continue on, like Chris said, it's a straight shot through. This is your main living area. And what's cool about this, not only is it large, but if you look up, it has 12 foot ceilings. So it's got various ceiling heights throughout the home. Very, very cool. This is the other two bedrooms. Which way are we going? So we're gonna go oh, oh, oh. that way. Right. So as you walk through the hall, you have your guest bath right here off to your right. And we're gonna continue on. Oh. <laughs> Door got me. Door got you. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue on to the guest bedroom. All right. So this is bedroom number two. It looks like bedroom number two. Again, tall ceilings, very large room, a lot of natural light. This looks like a queen size bed, canopy bed at that. And then I love this big window, all the natural light. Yeah, these windows all have hurricane protection, right? Yes, they do have the shutter system or a panel system. Very, very cool. Let's go to the owner suite. This is a king, so it's a large room for plenty of your furniture. You can fit two king size beds in here. You That's could. Good. That's yeah. awesome. And then you have the primary bath. Which is quite unique if you come in. It has a bidet, bidet all day. You got a walk-in shower. Just, I'm going downstairs. Where'd you go? Downstairs. <laughs> So it's a step down walking shower. You just, I'm going downstairs. Naturally lit by another skylight. That's cool. It also has heat lamps here. Ooh, look at that. For those two cold days in Florida. I didn't think I could look more pale, but I definitely do now. Yeah, you can tan. You did bring your tan lotion. <laughs> I'll have to be there for like a week. So if we're going to go with the theme of everything being large in the primary, it looks like that closet uh, does not disappoint. Echo, echo. All right. Yep. Walk-in closet. Wow. So it's very, very deep. Echo, 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 echo. Holy cow. I know, and you walked in and went to the right. Oh yeah, so I went right, he went left. Whoa. <laughs> There's a space behind too. That is insane. Echo, echo, echo. 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 All right, let's continue on. So as Chris mentioned earlier, this home was kind of designed for entertaining. Don't mind this guy. It's all right. That's Stefan. Hello, Stefan. If you're wondering what Steven's always doing in these listings, we have these really cool, what's called dollhouse tours. We put them in our listings. It's also online, the MLS, everything, where you can actually go take a walking tour on demand of each home. It's really awesome. That's why it's here. He's just not hanging out, even though he could. He's a cool guy. You're not wearing the normal hat you usually wear. No, this is the normal hat. You usually wear the... We love it when Stevie's here. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So now we're going through another large entryway into this extra area of the home. This house is huge. It is. Like, I'm way over here and you're still not at the back wall yet. For entertaining, I mean, it is it is designed for, for that. They did glass sliders along the back wall. They let in all the natural light and they put in a wet bar. You can go bowling. It does have enough room for that. Or a large beer pong. That is awesome. So a room big enough for skee-ball, bowling, multiple beer pong tables, and of course, Stefan. 
We love it when Stevie's here. Oui, oui. So this is your formal dining room, which could also be a pool table room. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And then sandwiched between the back room, the family room, the fun room, and the formal dining room is the kitchen, cocina. All right, so tell me about this kitchen, Lee. So this kitchen has plenty of counter space and storage with all the cabinets. You're gonna have stainless steel appliances throughout, built-in double oven. You know, I learned why the double ovens are so popular. Tell us. I had one of my clients tell me, when you're cooking Thanksgiving turkey, do you want to bend down and pick up a 20 pound bird? I'm like, no. She's like, you just stick it right in the oven and pull it right out to the counter. I'm like, well, there you go. I never thought of that. Double ovens for one day of the year. So there's custom woodwork too. Wow, it looks like this cabinets are also have a lot of nice woodwork. I love how they did the see-through glass. It's really nice. They have some wine glass holders here. Wine glass holders. Of course, you're thinking about the vino. All right, so the double ovens are stainless steel. Fridge is stainless steel. Although, what is this is stainless steel? This is a warming drawer. So when you're entertaining and you're cooking all those dishes, you can put them in here and keep them warm and pull them out as needed. Very, very cool. And if there was enough, even more counter storage cabinet space. This if would make an awesome coffee bar. This wow. is your AC laundry room. You have your slop sink, washer and dryer, more storage, and plenty of room. That's at least six feet. Yeah, a lot of the laundry rooms in Florida, they're in the garages and they're not AC, so they're hot. Speaking of garages, is that on the other side of the door? Almost. We're getting ready to go. Right, let's check it out. So, as we shortcut across to your attached garage here, this is your little covered patio area overlooking the pool. This was that guest room that we were just in earlier. Remember earlier I told you about, wait till you see something special in this garage? You'll see a little later, there's a little something special I'm going to show you. Got me intrigued. As you come in, it's your very large two-car garage. But what makes it special is this little golf cart door. Oh, look at that. You can open that up, drive your golf cart in, or on nice cool days, open it up for cross flow so you get a nice breeze through. Or for our children, power wheels. Where are we now? Now we're at the pool area. Uh, I see where I would be in that pool, right? The very end looks like it's a table. Oh yeah, I think you should go in and show us how it's done. Okay, hold on. You're gonna get naked? Love me some cold a sec. <laughs> Not today. Oh. It's not Naked Thursday. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So you can kind of hang out. If your kids are on one side, you can, you know, you can serve them lunch. And these Florida summers are hot, so that's a, that's where I would be. Absolutely. And not only that, they fenced the, the pool in here, but the property line actually extends out further. So you still have more yard that you could use if you want it. So big, quiet, unique, new roof. New ACs as well. So all the big, heavy, expensive stuff is done for you. You said ACs, there's more than one? Yep, there's two. And the last time this house was in the market, it sold in five days for $15,000 over asking. So Lee, if someone wants to see this home, what should they do, sir? So you can call me, I'm friendly. My number and email address is below. No, it's not, it's on your shirt. Very, very cool. Oh, it's right here too, yeah. Don't... <laughs> call that guy, he is friendly. All right, we'll see him on the next one, right? Yep, see you guys.